Hey everybody, welcome. Um, I'm not very good about doing the introductions and saying hello to people, so hello corporately. And um, I kind of just want to get right into what I want to talk to you about. It's not really a, uh, a cognitive word or something that has some sort of deep um, intellectual thing that you need to kind of mull over, you know, in your head. This is just something that's really like um, uh, uh, what I feel, what I sense so strongly from my heart. Um, I wanted to just kind of get on here and share this. So um, I want to talk to you about spotting your opportunities in 2020. And I am working on a project right now, which is um, wh where I am going through and I'm kind of recounting um, a lot of the um, things that have happened over um, the last like five years or so of my life and um, I'm putting them into uh, a book and a course that um, will really teach people to become um, life coaches for people who have gone through narcissistic abuse. So as I'm going through this process, I'm really taking a look at my own life. I'm really analyzing my own um, circumstances and the situations that I've walked through. And uh, while I was looking through all of this stuff that, um, and recounting everything that had happened, um, I had gotten up and I think I, I went on a prayer walk. I went, uh, I, I had some quiet time in the afternoon and, um, I love when there's confirmation. So I just love when, you know, you're doing one thing over here in this kind of sphere of your life and then you enter into, a, you know, switch modes and you go into this other mode and you start doing something else and that thing happens to line up with the thing that you were doing earlier and that's really what happened. So I went uh, I went on this prayer walk, like I said, I, and, and I had gotten some deeper um, uh, revelation or ways that I could take what I was looking at and applying it to this course, this book that I'm writing and designing. And um, shortly after that, I went into, um, at church, we were having like a Bible study, like get together kind of a thing. And we were reading from Luke 21. And in verse 13, something hit me just so strongly um, pertaining to me specifically. And I've been praying about, I've just been kind of really wanting to get everything that's in this word for my own self so I can put it to my ministry so that other people can you know, glean from it. But as I was um, really in that place of trying to get everything that was coming from it, I really felt that this was for so many people, that this is very simple and yet, um, and yet I don't know that we really understand how to apply this stuff to our lives. Um, and especially when it's like very major things that we need to be uh, we need to be, you know, in tune with the spirit and seeing what's going on. So at verse 21, um, Jesus is basically, so in, in, I'm sorry, chapter 21 of Luke, Luke 21, verse 13 specifically. So he's talking to his disciples and he's telling them basically about some signs that are going to be coming. And he says that there's going to be a time when people are going to bind you. They're going to bring you before um, the, the rulers and the leaders of the synagogue, they're going to um, present you there. And he says, this will be your opportunity. So he's talking about how they're going to be seized out of their homes and tied up and, you know, brought before the people who are going to judge them, some of them even unto death. And yet he's saying that these are their opportunities. And then right after that, in the very next verse, he says, settle it in your minds. So he not only tells them these negative things, right, in the, in the natural world are going to happen to you, that's an opportunity, so therefore settle this in your minds. So two main points that I really want to touch on in this broadcast. First of all, your greatest opportunities, and especially for 2020, are in the midst of your trials. They're right in the middle of your disaster, and what other people are condemning what you yourself may be feeling like struggling you want to just get out of that situation you don't want to deal with it any longer that's an opportunity for you second of all the whether that is an opportunity or whether it's a disaster whether this is um, a crisis whether this is something that destroys you or whether it builds you up it's in your mind the battle the battleground <clears throat> and also the outcome of that battle is determined in your mind so he says that will be your opportunity to be a witness to me 
And in the next verse, very next verse, he says, so therefore settle this in your mind. <clears throat> this is where your victory is going to come from. And if you are going through the middle of a crisis and all you can see is all of the negative effects, you are losing that battle. You are losing that battle and it's got to, you have to shift. You have to start thinking um, from a higher perspective. You have to find out what heaven is saying about you and your situation so that you can get everything out of that situation. And so, um, first of all, uh, take a look at that. And so he continues on in the same scripture. This is still Luke 21. And at the end of it, he says, by your endurance, you will gain your lives. And sometimes it's the longest struggles that you've struggled with that you're meant to have the greatest victory in. And not just for yourself, but also for other people. You know, usually these long, prolonged conflicts that you are constantly struggling against to have victory, it's because it, you're not just fighting for yourself, you're fighting for everybody who's tied to you, not just now, it, right now, you know, like today in this hour, but also in the future, all of the people who you will meet, all the people who will come to you. And so... I was thinking about this, again, pertaining to my own situation and how I'm designing this, um, this course and things like that, and I wanted to really um, uh, take hold of everything that I had gone through, and um, <laughs> Clayton, I think you have the wrong account, but um, anyhow, um, you know, all of the things that I have gone through, and um, putting it into a perspective so that people would be able to uh, glean from it and apply it to their own lives. And so um, as I was going as I was going through um, that situation, I um, I just took a look at like some of the things that that had really been beneficial to myself. So first of all, even though it was really, really hard, um, you know, I was taking a look at the fact that I was vulnerable. I was still in a place where I was able to share my story with other people. And that's something that I think really set me apart in terms of connecting with other people. You know, again, if you've heard about how I started Ashes to Beauty, um, I uh, was looking, I had been looking for people, for somebody who could help me um, it kind of makes sense of everything that I'd gone through, but I was I didn't I wasn't able to find that person, and so instead of looking for that person, I just asked God to um, to you know help me and become that for other people, and so that's ultimately what happened. And when I look back at that, you know the, the thing my mindset was always, and it still is now, that what this this horrible disaster that has happened in my in my life um, I want it to become good I want it to not only serve myself and um, and my family but also I want everybody who is going through similar things to be able to find hope to be able to find um, actionable uh, uh, solutions for their problem and uh, yeah so anyway that was kind of just what I was going through and the way that I applied it. And I understand that not everybody is meant to be a business owner or to go into ministry. However, um, you know, the we can all, we all have a story to tell. We are all a story. And so if you can learn about that, if you can learn how to take your trials and view them as opportunities, and settle it in your mind that this thing is going to serve you, especially in 2020. This is definitely going to set you apart and to put you on the uh, path that's going to lead your life and your purpose and your destiny in the right direction and set you on that correct trajectory. So I pray that this video blesses you and you all have a great rest of the day and a good weekend.